Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to Verbal Hub Education. In this video, we are going to definitely do the analysis of CAT slot 3 for the exam which was held on Sunday, right? So definitely the third slot, what was being asked in the third slot for respective parts from part, verbal part, DILR part, level, right number of questions from which section which topics are mostly being covered something like like that okay so guys let's get started with this i'm just like taking you to the this part or our difficulty level and number of questions everything was same as the previous irrespective of only one here that is dilr in which two more questions was added this year right because in previous years it was asked as 20 questions from dilr but this year we got 22 okay the count has been raised from 66 to 68 okay if we talk about the level of difficulty verbal was moderate to difficult okay dilr was if we talk about the verbal overall level of difficulty was moderate to difficult dilr was easy to moderate count was easy to moderate overall level of difficulty was easy to moderate okay that's not the problem coming to the fact for what was being asked from right so what was being asked in verbal ability and the reading comprehension the verbal part the english part okay if we talk about there were four passages was asked four passages each of four 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 question the count comes as 16 i know that total number of questions was 24 16 questions here right one was based on impact of artificial intelligence ai on culture extension of languages contaminations of mass chinese liquor and something like that okay if we talk about the some more question type from sentence uh, placement para summary three questions and hard one out three three and two questions that definitely comes to as eight question and their total will come as 24 all right if we talk about definitely the overall difficulty level you can definitely check it all right easy to moderate moderate to difficult and what was being asked that was here being given a right so coming to the fact for my dear this part the dilr part right everyone knows that this time five dilr parts was asked and it was really interesting and uh, in that same scenario it was four question four question four question five and five so four dilr five dilr was asked this time okay if we talk about the which type of dilr what was the pattern on which it was being asked atm network it was been asked on one which was considered five questions and their language and their level of difficulty was moderate to difficult same thing if we talk about content of food grains it four questions and the level of difficulty was difficult ac temperature was considered five question level of difficult was difficult ott users question was four moderate level and uh, like the country gdp and all that question was four it was difficult so in which there was one moderate one moderate to difficult and there was three difficult to level dlr right that was been the analysis if we talk about the quant part quant part in quant uh like uh, it was a total number of questions from arithmetic was eight total number of questions from algebra was seven geometry three question modern math three and numbers one there was no question that was asked from a thing trigonometry because it has not been mentioned and when i did the live analysis with my student and none uh, none of my students have mentioned that uh, like the trigonometry was asked right so we will not take up that about because arithmetic is and very much weightage with eight questions after that algebra pure, uh, like you can go with the geometry modern math and number stuff but but in this year what we have mostly seen that the number of data questions have been increased rapidly if we talk about the number of data questions that can be asked right so 14 question missing the mcq type but eight was data 
overall level level of difficulty was medium that's not an issue but the issue is really important that is mcq are basically 15 theta was 8 that really matters right coming to the fact that we are going to discuss for this section right so because this section i brought here is because uh, if you talk about the verbal DILR and course section, total duration was same. There was no change, but the number of questions did definitely change here. That is in DILR. Two more questions have been added. But this year, if we talk about the theta question in verbal, we got two theta questions. That's not a problem. That's not an issue. That was nothing. But the thing is that if you look at in court, we have eight theta questions. In DILR, we have 10 theta questions. What does this theta and why I am focusing on theta? Because if there are more theta questions, the number of questions that a student can attempt are more. So number of attempts are more. If number of attempts are more, there is no negative marking. That's why every student will try to hit the answer, right? So attempts will be more. So if attempts are more, definitely no negative marking, score can go up. If score can go up, it definitely means a lot regarding the fact that so it will go, the cutoff will be off. So this year we can expect as compared to previous year, the cutoff will be a little bit more. This is not the reason because of the theta. One reason is theta. I'm, I'm, I'm mentioning the reasons. First is the reason that I found is theta. Second reason is the most important reason because to this this year paper is been some people say sir easy to moderate, some people classify it as easy to moderate, some people moderate to difficult. No one say totally difficult. Nothing. No. 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 Easy to moderate. Some people moderate. Easy some so in the if their paper is in this range, so definitely this is the second reason that the score the marks the cutoff will be a little bit high as compared to the previous so there are a lot of things that i want to add it here okay if we if we if we if we go with these two reasons two scenarios because we have to think accordingly right so there are a lot of things that i have to tell you first of all these two things are quite clear that these two things can push up Right. So we, I mean, if we did the analysis this year, it can be like definitely a lot of things that I told you. I mean, yesterday I did a lot of analysis. I told you like that if, if you start with here, if you have the aggregate score of 34, you can go up to score of 80 percentile. This was in, this was the data of 2020, 2023. If I remember, I told you this, right? Not only this, if I told you like, uh, if you get like uh, 36, you can go up to like uh, close to like, that can be the close, what is 85. But this year, the percentile, I'm just telling you that this can be a little bit different, All right? So I can say you that if you have like close to 36, 38, you can go then 80 percentile. So this definitely mean that the percentile is definitely goes up, right? So no matter because in few days you can definitely get the, res the response sheet and other details. But what I'm just suggesting you that you should definitely focus on if you are preparing for other exams, you should go for that as well, right? Because what we have most of the student wasting their time in just analyzing the paper, waiting for the response, checking multiple websites and wasting their time and all that. That's not the worth it, right? You should wait for your response sheet. Check it again. If you are making a mistake, just like note it down why you guys guys making a mistake and what are the problems that you that you is like that you did. Right. So and what are the questions that I mostly make mistake, what are questions that I make correct and I can make correct in future as well. So these are the things that end. And those people who, got, who definitely like think like that, I have done my great paper, I did everything possibly right and everything perfection. So they, they are best of luck for the future and they can go like, uh, uh, like uh, 
for that they should be ready for their uh, future what i say college and universities but this is this story doesn't uh, like end here we have a lot of things to do like tell here that is you guys have like your exams have already over on sunday you just relax for two three days okay if you are preparing for other exams you should prepare you should try to focus on much more on the revision and the mocks if you have not appear like if you feel like that my paper is not been good too much and by i should go for again for this exam that they, they should wait for certain days right and definitely they like uh after exams and all that, after this response sheet will be out, you will definitely check what, whether you have made a mistake and why you can erase that, right? So I'm just stopping here. This was the total analysis that I told you, right? Later, we will definitely see you in the sessions and we will discuss the things. Right? So take care, everyone, and uh, best of luck for your journey.